Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Valerie here. You guys already know that. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanted to do another fall look. Now, a lot of people, when they think of fall, they think of like red, dark red, blah, blah, blah. But me, when I think of fall, I think of green. Like, I'm so weird. I think of green. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a green look today. Well, I'm going to attempt to do a green look today. I hope it turns out right because a lot of times I'll film and then... I'll look good on camera and my monitor right here and then in reality when I watch the clip later on on my phone oh, later on on my camera oh, what the heck when I watch the clip later on on my computer I'm like ooh, no so this video is gonna be a trial and error <laughs> so let's just get started so I'm gonna start out with my eyes first and I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see everything. So I'm gonna try to keep a talking type of video because I love the voiceovers, but I just wanna explain you guys every product that I'm using. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see all my pimples. A lot of people keep saying like, I have clear skin, <coughs> lol. Do y'all see these pimples? Nobody has perfect skin. And if you do, kudos to you, bitch, because I don't have clear skin. Um, so I'm gonna go in my little makeup bag. I love my little makeup bag. I got it over the summer at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And this makeup bag is just Amazing, amazed balls. Okay, I'm trying to find my Olivia Care um, Bright Beauty Oil because we're gonna be doing some bright ass colors today. Okay, I'm gonna take my MAC Laying Low Paint Pot Pro Long Wear. So basically, I use this paint pot when I'm doing bright and colorful looks. So as of right now, my paint pot got kind of dried out, but don't worry, if your paint pot ever gets dried out, all you have to do is take some oil, like I have right here, and I'm going to add that into the mix, and you're just going to bring it back to life, because ain't nobody going to MAC to buy this again. Like this. I'm going to pour some in that, like this. Like that. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty brush. A lot of people use this for eyeshadow, but I typically use this to do my eyebrows or to do what I'm about to do. So you can see the oil is in there, and I'm just gonna mix it and swirl it in there. You just brought your paint pot back to life. So I'm gonna swirl it in there, get some real good coating up in there, and I'm gonna apply this onto my eyelids. So, just like that. I'm gonna apply a lot because. So, if you guys ever have cream products that have dried out, don't throw them out. Just buy some oil. Literally, this Olivia Care oil I bought from Burlington Co. Factory, and it was literally six dollars. It was five ninety nine. And, I don't know, it works wonders. Like, I love this oil so much. I'm like using my viewfinder right now. I don't have a viewfinder, what the hell? I'm using my... Oh boy, look at the mess that I started. Next up, I'm taking my Kylie Jenner setting powder in the color Deep Dark. So I'm gonna grab the Kylie powder and I'm just gonna set, I'm just gonna set that primer on my eyelid. So I set it so the colors can just have an even base to go on so it doesn't move around throughout the day. Especially if you're trying to do a colorful look, you just want everything to be set and matte 
Um, you don't want your eyeshadow to be moist unless you're doing a glossy. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little tape that I got from the dollar store. So I'm just going to take this tape and I'm going to line it up with my... I'm going to line it up with my eyebrow, like right here at the tail of my eyebrow. I always do this. And be careful when you're adding the tape, like... You see how I did it? I put it underneath of my eye. So first up, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm going to take this green up here. I'm going to start out with this one up here first. And I'm going to pack this. Ooh, I dipped into the blue. I'm going to go ahead and take this green right over here. And I'm going to pack this on. have to literally pack it on like I'm pretty sure this is my 10th pack on like right now so back in the take me back to Brazil palette I'm gonna go in with this shade next and I'm gonna pack this on to the lighter green shade you work with what you have these shadows are super ashy like you really gotta pack them on and you gotta play with it like if you're not if your original eyeshadow shades like if you guys have like really good palettes you might have to like you know only put like one to two but this one you gotta layer like ten ten of them all right guys so next step I'm gonna take this darker green right over here that was next to the other green and I'm gonna try to intensify the crease a little bit but guys, honestly, I know I said this palette is kind of ashy, but it builds on the tone. So you're starting out with makeup and you're not trying to spend that much money. You should really hit a BH Cosmetics. Like, I'm not promoting them in any type of way. I purchased this palette when I was first starting out with makeup because I'm like, I don't want to go buy something that's too expensive. And then I end up like not liking it and wasting my money. But, um... I honestly do think that this palette is worth it. I mean, I am complaining about it because I complain about everything, but this palette is honestly a really nice if you're first starting out with makeup. So as you can see, I'm not focusing this um, green like all the way up here. I'm focusing the green mainly in the crease area, like right over here and out. That green right there, darkening it right over here. See the difference? I think that's good. So I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine is really dirty. And I'm gonna take this green right over here and I'm gonna pack this on also. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with that BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to pick up this black shade right here just to intensify everything a little bit more because I really want a smoky dark green and that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to pick up some black and ooh, there we go. I'm just going to focus that in the crease. See that just like that and you really want to make sure you blend this out so the black isn't just laying there so I'm gonna go in with my urban decay brush and I'm just gonna use that to blend everything out literally like that I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease so I'm gonna use that paint pot again and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease
I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna pick up this shade right over here, this little creamy um, little shade. Just looks like this. That's how the shade looks like. Uh, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX um, liquid liner and I'm gonna do some liner for you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead back in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to pick up this shimmer green right over here. Alright, so now that we have that part done, um, I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pencil, and this one is silver. I love these little eye art pencils. Alright guys, so I decided to do something really last minute. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Glue. Um, it just looks like this. You can get this at Ulta for like 6 $7 I think. I'm not really sure. And I'm going to use that same brush that we were using to apply that green shade. And also I'm going to use my She Glitter that I got from my local beauty supply store. Literally it is $2.99 right here at the end right here at the end just like that now I'm gonna take that glitter and I'm going to dip it in there and I'm gonna glitterify this So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tapes. See? Perfect. Ooh, never mind. We got some leakage up in here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my Dr. Brandit um, Luminizer Primer. So I'm basically using that as a primer today. I lost the cap. Whatever. So I'm going to use the little bit of rest of it. And I'm going to rub that in. Pretty sure I should have added the oil first, right? But hey, it's all going on the skin, right? <laughs> like literally, I just do whatever. Don't forget to bring down to your neck and up here also. Then I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my Olivia Care Bright Beauty Oil. It's a facial oil. So I love this oil because honestly, it's winter time and my skin tends to get a little bit dry. A lot of people don't use this in the winter time, but I really do believe in facial oils in the winter time because I really do believe in face oils in the winter time because my skin gets Oh, I think I added too much. I 
I really do believe in face oils, especially in the winter time, because honestly, your skin gets super dry, the harsh weather and everything, and I get super dry, so I really love face oil. So next step, I'm going to take my Cover FX um, Glitter Drops, and I'm just going to add a couple, because honestly, this stuff goes a long way. And then I'm going to take this brush right here, and I'm going to blend out that glitter. It's just kind of staying in one spot. This was a mistake, but hey, whatever. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty um, foundation. I'm in the color 440. I'm gonna pump some in the back of my hands, and I'm gonna take my beauty sponge, and I'm just gonna apply some on my skin. So you guys see how it shines through the foundation? That's what I wanted, the drops and the oil. And it literally stays like that all day. And people will always be like, oh, your skin is so dewy. And you're like, oh, uh -huh, thanks. And your skin won't be as dry when you take off your makeup too. It's nice and smooth. I will say, using a beauty blender instead of a brush, you do use more products, but I just like this finish in the winter time better. I don't know, like, when fall comes, I have a different um, skincare routine, makeup routine. If you guys want to see a skincare routine, let me know, because my skin is, like, really weird, and I'm trying, like, new routines, so let me know if you guys want to skincare routine on how to take care of your skin under makeup and all that and honestly i don't wear makeup every day guys i really don't and i'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna take the rest of that foundation and I'm gonna blend in between my brows because your girl don't know what's going on here and I'm gonna blend right here too just like that so the concealer that I'm gonna be using today is the Kylie Jenner concealer I really like this concealer for dark skinned ladies because it really just works. I do believe that this shade is my shade. I'm in the color Almonds. Um, I really love this shade so much. And I'm going to apply this right here. And I like this concealer because I feel like it's hydrating. It's not too matte. But at the same time, I did add that oil. So I do have oil on my skin my skin isn't dry and i don't like my skin to look too dry in the winter time like a lot of girls have their skin like really matte in the winter time which is great and all but then with the harsh weather you're already using a matte um you're already using matte everything your skin tends to look a little bit harsh i'm not saying that to make fun of girls because that's wrong i don't i don't make fun of girls at all but I'm saying that from my own experience, like I have done matte everything and my skin tends to look a bit dry, but maybe some other girls that doesn't happen to them. But I'm just talking from experience, like I really don't like the whole matte everything in the winter time, but everyone is different. If that works for you, then go ahead, honey. hear my neighbors they have this son that just loves to get on this motorcycle and just fucking hurt himself and he feels like he's hot shit but hey you only live once and i'm gonna take the end of the beauty blender where it has my foundation and you're just gonna see me tap it along the lines just to blend that out i like everything to be nice and blended like if you guys i don't like the harsh lines just like that and then I'm going to go ahead. I always blend the bottom of my chin with the bottom of the Beauty Blender that had the foundation. So 
it's like all nice and even. And then I tend to bring this around. And then I blend my the tip of my nose last. And recently I've been just loving blending everything with the bottom of the brush. It gives you that nice highlight it. It gives you that nice highlight, but at the same time it's the same color as your skin. So it's not like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, I forgot my contour. I'll be back. Next up, I'm gonna take my Fenty Contour Stick in the color Espresso. So, this is just a Fenty Contour Stick, color Espresso. And it's still oily from the last time I used it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and add more oil. I did my makeup like two days ago. Like, the last makeup video that's on there is what I used. So there's no point to redo, add all that oil to it. So I'm just going to take my Real Technique brush and it just looks like this and I'm going to blend everything out. And you're literally just doing circular motions like this down to blend this out. Just like that. See that? And then you have the natural glitter drops underneath glowing. I'm gonna just add a little bit on my forehead. And you guys see me add um, contour down here. You might be wondering why I do that. I do that because um, I just like my face to be slim. I eat a lot and I work out a lot. So guys, sometimes when that face looking round, you just gotta shape it up. Shape that shit up, see? It's nice and contoured down. So now I'm gonna blend out my nose. I pinch the side of the brush and I blend it out. Next up, I'm gonna take my Kylie Jenner setting powder in the color Deep Dark and I'm gonna set my whole face and bake underneath my eyes now when I say bake I really don't bake nowadays I just add it for a second not even that long I don't let it sit on for that long and then I wipe it right off so I do like this and I also do this to sharpen out that nose contour a little bit just like that. I set my chin right here because if you guys get smile lines like I do. And then I just set the rest of my face with the rest of the powder. Just like that. And then I add some on the tip of my nose just like that just like that so after that I go in with my cover FX palette and it's kind of cracked right now so I can't really like show you guys I don't want this piece to fall out because it's cracked so I'm going in with this dark brown right here it's the contour shade and I'm gonna contour with this we'll bronze up that contour with that just like that it's really hard finding contour shades for dark skin girls. Like everything that I use is like it's very hard. That's why I'm happy like Fenty came out with this espresso. Like Rihanna came out with this espresso um, contour cream because you can just set it and everything will still be nice. But sometimes you want that harsh contour and it's kind of hard to find it sometimes. I know Fenty came out with a contour powder. I have yet to try it. Like, I really want to try it, but I haven't tried it yet. But honestly, um, what I've been doing, if I want a harsh contour, you guys already know. I do this all the time. Where I go in with my MAC Film Noir um, Baked Blush. So this is a dark, dark, dark blush. So it's dark enough to make that shadow of a contour for, con for dark skin girls. So that's literally what I use. I improvise, you know what I mean? That's the thing with makeup. 
Just because it says blush, that doesn't mean it can be a blush. That doesn't mean it can just be a blush, you know what I mean? And when you're dark skin, it's hard to find stuff, but at the same time when you're dark skin, it's really easy to manipulate stuff to get it to what you need it to be, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to just lightly add that on because this can get dark really fast, guys. You see that? So I just like to add this like right here. And then I like to lightly bring it around here and chisel my chin and then try to get rid of that, um, try to get rid of that double chin. And then I'm going to take my Kylie powder again and really try to set the nose so that contour can be really sharp. Just like that. And then I take the powder and I carve out that contour just like that so it's nice and sharp nice and sharp just like that bada bang bada boom I hope I'm I'm so weird people think I'm so normal and shy but honestly when you get to know me I'm really weird and I'm not like this around everyone the only people that know that i'm really weird are my sisters and my family and certain friends not even like all friends like you may think we're friends but until i sing in the car while you're there until i'm like very valerie around you we're probably not friends like i'm sorry to tell you i love you though xoxo gossip girl <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go in my little brush bag. This was an Ipsy bag that I got. So I'm just gonna take my Urban Studio brush. It just looks like this. I get most of my brushes from Burlington Co. Factory or Marshalls nowadays. I still have my brush set that my best friend got for me for Christmas, Toby. And then my mom got me a brush set too, so I still have that. And then Danielle got me uh, another little brush set. So. I have a couple of brushes, so it's like, I have too many brushes, but like, I see a lot of people on YouTube have a lot of brushes, so I guess you can never really have too many brushes. So I'm gonna take this brush, and I'm literally just dusting away all that powder. I hold my ear like this so my earring doesn't get in the way. And I'm literally removing all of that um, setting powder underneath my eyes just like that bada bang bada boom bada bing 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 boom <laughs> i'm so weird okay so the skin is looking nice and hydrated do you guys see that you can see the little drops underneath i really like the cover fx drops like you can see it underneath my skin it's beautiful and it looks nice and healthy that's what i'm talking about when you're doing um makeup in the winter time you don't want it to be too dry and it looks rough and patchy because at the end of the day if you do get oily um you can just pat your face okay but you rather get oily than get dry like to the point where your makeup is cracking that ain't cute honey like <laughs> You guys need hydration in the winter time. Get some oil drops. They're really not expensive. I got this Olivia Care um, facial drops at Burlington. No lie. $5.99. Get yourself some. It smells like it's nice and citrus. Like it, it makes you think of summertime. Like you drinking that nice citrus juice. You know, all my Haitian people, juicy drone. Like you gonna love it. Like it's it's amazing. But um, if you don't like citrus, there are other facial oils, but I will say that this Olivia Care oil does not break me out. Like, I really thought the fact that it was only $6 that it would break me out, but nothing happened yet. <laughs> Knock on wood, girl. Where's some wood? Give me some wood. So I'm going to take my other Urban Studio brush. Um, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color 55. Uh, it's in the color 55 Berry. And I am just going to put some blush on my cheeks. Like I always say, guys, don't add too much blush because black people don't blush naturally. Like, we smile, <laughs> yeah, cute, but we don't turn a different shade of, we don't turn red. Some black people do if you're light enough, but 
I'm dark straight from Haiti, made in Haiti. So that's sun, I ain't, ain't no blushy here. So I gotta go really light, like not too much. Like I literally just touch my cheek, not that much, just like that, really lightly. My nose, I like doing that little thing like that and I add some here and just like that, bam. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I really like this mist a lot and my older sister Jen likes this mist too because the other setting sprays is just like, whoa, you know what I mean? But this one is just, ooh. <coughs> I cover my eyes because I don't want my eyes to get oily. And I just spray around my face, just like that. And then I'm gonna let my face dry a little bit. And then we're gonna do some highlighting. So highlighting today, I feel like I should be using something light, nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my, God, I want Fenty to rep me so bad, but my all of my makeup products are like super dirty. And they're probably like, Oh, this girl is cute, but <laughs> her makeup products are dirty. It's not my fault. When you dark skin, girl, your makeup products just be dark skin. Anyways, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Mean Money and Hustla in the color trying to hide all this in the color Mean Money and Hustla Baby. I like to use this brush. It's also a No, this one is a motor brush that I got in my BoxyCharm box. I love BoxyCharm, I just resubscribed because I had to stop for a bit because I had to stop for a bit. But I'm gonna take my motor brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just gonna dust it in there, tap off the rest and apply some extra highlights just like that. And I just literally like dust it on, fan it on because I want it barely touching my skin because I don't want to add too much because once you add a lot of highlight, it's hard to go back. So I lightly build it on just like that until I get like my desired look. I'm gonna take my um, Beauty Treats brush. I got this brush from Burlington as well and I'm gonna just apply this on and add that to my brow bone right here. I'm gonna take this brush right over here and I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm gonna put this in the this right there I don't know what that spot is called for some reason I do but I'm just having a blank right now just like that I'm also gonna take my black eyeshadow it's called Starlocks I got this in my BoxyCharm box as well and I really love this black um, eyeliner it's super black and it just goes with the look so I'm gonna put that in my bottom waterline in with that Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take dark green over here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, L'Oreal telescopic mascara in the color carbon black and I'm gonna apply that to my lower lash line I'm also going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to apply that to my lower lashes as well. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do my hair and let the camera charge up for a little bit and then I'll come back and do my lips. 
I'm gonna take my Olivia Care Beauty Oil again, Bright Beauty Oil, and I'm gonna add that onto my lips. So, just a little bit. Oh! Just a little bit, because last time I added way too much. Like I just did again. And I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild a Lip Liner. And I'm gonna line my lips up. I just love brown lip liner. Like, I like black too, but I really love brown. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the color Wicked. So, just looks like this. This is an oldie, but goodie. I haven't seen anyone use this in a while. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go back in with that lip liner again and just line my lips up. Guys, also my auntie went to France and she came back with this beautiful perfume that she got for me. Super excited. It's so beautiful. It says, my French chick. I love it. It's beautiful. And if you guys can see right here, my name is like engraved in there. It says Valerie. So thank you, auntie. I love you so much. I really like this and I'm going to spray it on right now. Oh! Smells so good. Oh, okay. So that's basically the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.